All right, so from here over, we got 66 games at a dollar a piece. There you are. Okay, folks, so as far as a lot of pickups, I didn't have a lot, but I had one really good pickup at the beginning of the week and was able to get a lot of games in that uh, that very first deal. There were 66 games, and this is what I've got left. Uh, a lot of them, a lot of the heavy hitters are, you know, the, the popular titles, the Mario 64 and the Gold 9 and whatnot. I was able to flip those really, uh, really quick and make my money back. I do have some games in here that are for sale that I'm going to be getting rid of, um, but I'll get to keep a few and that's going to be awesome. Uh, I don't know anything about this EverQuest. This is a PC game, but it was thrown in the deal. All of these are extras that I already have, so I will probably be keeping those to bundle with an N64 later on in the year when I, I find one at a yard sale or whatnot. It's going to be kind of hard to to price these out individually because they're not worth that much, and it's just going to be you know more trouble than it's worth. These are the three that I did not have that I'm that I'm going to be able to put into my collection, which is Cyber Tiger, Load Runner 3D. And Bomberman 64. With those three, that puts me up to 172 games out of the 296. And I have two variants, so that's 174 total. Out of the Genesis games, uh, these were these three right here were worth the most. Blades of Vengeance, uh, this game sells alone for around $30. Mutant League Football, that's always a a good one to find that sells anywhere between 20 to 25 dollars and fantasy star 2 between 20 and 25 bucks um, I'm always finding copies of Mario Duck Hunt you can never go wrong there when you need uh, games to bundle with a Nintendo uh, punch out is uh, it's a duplicate for me so I'll be bundling that with the with an NES um, the Pokemon's I put new batteries in all of those so we got red blue silver and sapphire all of those have batteries that save now um, i am going to be able to keep a few of these games there's some Yu-Gi-Oh games here knockout kings super mario brothers deluxe is a duplicate for me so i'll be selling that this mario kart uh, for the snes is a condition upgrade for me so i'll be keeping this cartridge and selling my personal copy um, Monster Hunter 3 try. I did not have that. A lot of these I did not have. Um, Spider-Man X-Men is a duplicate. Batman Returns is a duplicate. Sonic 3 I believe is a duplicate. Mortal Kombat I know is a duplicate. Jurassic Park I believe this is an upgrade, uh, a label upgrade for me. Um, but some of these I didn't have and I'll be able to keep those. Uh, and I didn't have Sonic and Knuckles. So I'll be able to keep that as well. And probably the coolest find of the week 
was definitely this Sony PS1 with the screen and I, I turned the volume down. It works perfectly though and it was in immaculate shape at the uh, pawn shop for 20 bucks. And uh, so I threw in Silent Hill to show you that the screen works on there. It works really well. That was definitely the pickup of the week. But when I sell these, uh, these Pokemon games, that will put that into my collection for free. I've already made my money back on the $66 pickup off of the 66 games. And folks, there you have it. If you've enjoyed the content, by all means, leave that thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. While you're at it, hit the bell icon. When you do, you're going to receive notifications every single time I pick up and post new content. All right, folks, I hope y'all have a fantastic week. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.